All right, welcome back, good people. On this video, I want to start out by saying one of the things I enjoy doing is uh, personal development. You already know that about me. And I like to ask questions. Asking questions allows a person to look a little deeper within, right? That's, you know, even if they never give you the right answer or the answer, they're going to say to themselves what they're really feeling, right? So I want to ask this question to you. Are you comfortable where you are? What is comfortable, right? I don't know. Maybe I am. Yeah? No, I'm not comfortable where I am. See, all those have the possibility of coming up. And the one that you lock on, the one that you decide on, is going to be where your motivation is. If, if you lock on, yeah, I'm comfortable where I am, then you're going to be more focused on just staying there. Because when you're in that comfort zone, you have a tendency not to want to move, <laughs> right? You have things like you uh, psychologically want them, or maybe uh, e emotionally want them. Maybe you're getting uh, fed from things being as they are, right? But if you're not comfortable with things the way they are, and you would like to make a change, maybe you don't know how to make a change. Maybe you don't believe it's possible for you to make a change from where you are. Let me say this. It's possible. It's likely that it will work. But it has to be up to you. You have to make the decision that you will change. You will stop doing certain things. Because, see, we all get 24 hours in a day. You, yeah, even you. <laughs> we are, and that's it. We don't get any more than that. But you get that 24 hours. So whatever you're doing right now, if you're busy, 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 it's going to be very difficult for you to add anything else in, especially without removing something, right? So when you start to uh, think about starting a business or uh, maybe even having an online presence of any type, you, you have to actually clear out a space that you're going to fit that in regularly because you can't insert information every now and then and, and get what you want from an online business. That's not the way it works. People have to begin to know who you are. People have to begin to understand what you do. You have to give them the opportunity to either like you or not like you, right? And you're not going to get everybody to like you. That's not your objective. Your objective is to create a platform or an avenue that you want to share information that you know about or that you would like to know about. And you will know about it because you will start to study. Let's say you want to know how to become a photographer, but you know nothing about it. But you want to share with other people about what it's like to be become a photographer or to be a photographer like me. The skills that I have to learn, I don't know those skills. I, I didn't even know I needed to know those skills. But in order to continue to grow my business, I have to know those skills. And one of the processes that I have for remembering things is that I'll create videos and I'll share them with you guys. And as I do that, then that forces me to remember what I'm saying. It forces me to look at how that actually works so that I can do it myself. But I'm not really a big hands-on person when it comes to doing that, so I like to limit that. <laughs> you know, when I say limit that, I mean I like to do what I like to do. I like to get in front of this video camera and share information that I've learned. That's what I like to do. Everything else, I like to have systems in place to handle that. So I don't really like to really, you know, hands-on on a lot of things once I know that that's not necessary for me to do personally. But I do know how to do those things, and I would do that if I had to. And I had to do that for a long period of time, right? And you will too. Chances are you'll have to do it for a long You'll have to, you know, do everything. You have to be the, uh, the beginning and the end, <laughs> right? And the, be and the end doesn't come, right? You just continue. But after a while, over a period of time, you'll position things where it's easier and it's quicker. You can do, like once I do these videos, they have to be uploaded, right? Who's going to upload them? Yeah, right. They have to be edited. Nope. I don't edit videos. All I need to do is share information with you guys. I'm not trying to pretend that, that I'm, you know, uh, 
the best person that you're going to get this information from. The only thing I'm doing is going according to the things that I know. And that's, that is the indicator for you that you can do the same thing because you can say to yourself, hey, I can do what he's doing. Hey, only thing he's doing is getting from that video and talking. Right, I am, but I'm talking about things that I've learned. And, and then that I want to guide you to places so that you can learn as well if you're interested in learning, right? Because there are some people who are phenomenal at what they do. Really, when they say they ha they make their company makes uh, sometimes a hundred thousand dollars in a month, that's true. They make that type of money. Now, would, would those people know what they're talking about? Oh, absolutely. Not only would they know, but they have people in place to keep that system running, right? But a lot of times when you buy that information, it's only going to take you so far because there's even more to it. <laughs> Please know that. You can get excited about it, but there's even more to it, and you have to pay for that. And if you don't mind paying, that's good. But if you pay for things, and the way I think, is if you pay for things, you need to know what you paid for. <laughs> if you don't know what you paid for, then I've got something to sell you, right? Because that means you're not paying attention to how it take, what it takes to run a business. First, you have to know, know it takes money to run a business. It doesn't take a handshake or a wave. It takes money, right? And you don't start a business to be friends with everybody. You start a business to make money. Right? You want that money to allow you to live a certain type of lifestyle. Now, that lifestyle is going to bear a lot because a lot of people don't really like, you know, the bling, bling, bling. I'm a person, I'm not, I don't have to have it. But I'm also a person that I like what I like, right? And if what I do affords me that, that luxury to be able to buy what I like or have what I like, that's what I'll do. If that's not something that I want to do, then I'm, I can do without that. You know, I'm also an investor, though. I'll, I think like an investor. And when I say that, I mean, I think moving forward. How uh, is this going to be uh, beneficial for me later? Is this going to last for me a while? You know, uh, am I going to get an ROI on this investment that I like? Or is this going to be a liability? If it's going to be a liability, then I'm out. Leave me alone. Huh? They take liabilities over there. I don't like liabilities. I like to be debt free. I don't like to owe you. And I don't really like you to owe me. So, you know, we like to keep that straight. But that's just me. That's not everybody. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying, once you decide to do, put your feet in the, in the water, when you decide to do that, you have to know that it's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long time. That's why I want you to know that it's, essential that is based on something you like. What do you like? Are you comfortable where you are? Speakerlearn.com